Hello friends, I am here to give you a talk on career in biotechnology. Hello biotechnologists, I am here. Please go through this presentation for next few minutes and I, I am sure I will be able to deliver something which is very 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 useful for you. What is biotechnology? Biotechnology is a research oriented science which also tells us as combination of biology and technology. In simple words, biotechnology is a branch of science which uses microorganisms for the benefit of mankind. Now why I want to tell you these two definitions is, first reason is this, very funny reason is, this is the most talked two definitions of the nation, most, this is the two definitions which is almost heard by every student, yes indeed biotechnology is a branch in which you use microorganisms for the benefit of mankind. What are the subjects under biotechnology? The, I will classify the subjects into two categories. One is core subjects and applied subjects. Under core subjects, genetics, biochemistry, microbiology, immunology, virology, chemistry, engineering and cell biology. Under Applied subjects, medicine, agriculture, animal husbandry, cropping and system, cropping system and crop management, ecology, soil science and conservation, biostatistics, physiology and seed technology. Now why to choose a career in biotechnology? Somebody might have told you, what are the applications of biotechnology? Biotechnology can help you to fight against disease, feed the hungry people, improve the food production techniques, clean up the environment and make manufacturing more efficient and profitable. Where to study the course of biotechnology? Look for institutes which can provide you with better practical exposure. What I would suggest to you people is that always, bi since biotechnology is a science subject, so all science subjects need to have a good practical exposure so always try to look for an institute which can provide you with this good practical experience and that's what that's what leads you to make a good uh, career in biotechnology what are the types of courses available in but if you are interested to choose the career in biotechnology so these are the few of the list of the courses uh, you can go ahead for, uh, for uh, Five year integrated MSCM tech courses, MSc Biotechnology, PhD in Biotechnology, MBA, BTech, MTech in Biotechnology. These are, these are the different courses available in different universities. What are the thoughts of students regarding the scientists? This is generally the most talk topic uh, among the students. Students always think that sci scientists are in intelligent, scientists are bad dressers, scientists are work obsessed, they don't have any hobbies, they are socially awkward, they are absent-minded people, uncool people. So let me tell you, if a, if you, next time if you find a biotechnologist, please don't think that he is socially awkward or he is an absent-minded, but this, these are generally the uh, thoughts of a students, but this should not, this is not that biotechnology are really cool people uh, with uh, very social uh, they, they have very good social question as well. Whenever you are interested to make a career in biotechnology, one of the most important fact to remember is that you should be very much habitual of reading. Reading literature, reading books, reading magazines, reading newspapers, reading can be of any sort because what it is, somebody said it correctly, reading makes a conference man while writing makes a complete man. Now, career and job search in internet, using internet resources. I would say always google it around to look for relevant websites you need. Remember everything is available online, just you need to spend your time searching in the options. What are the careers available? If you are interested, these are few of the branches which you can make a career. You can go for our research and development. 
can go in operations you can go in quality control and assurance clinical research as well as finance and administration what are the academic options if you are going for a bsc and btech degree then you can be a technical assistant media technician greenhouse assistant a quality control analyst a health specialist or a clinical data specialist if you are a post graduate that is msc and mtech you can be a research assistant associate scientist or something like that and this is with respect to scientific career i am speaking about if you go for a doctoral degree you can be a post doctoral scientist senior scientist assistant professor associate professor professor all these things if you are going for a bsc degree that is undergraduate course you will you will have to spend 3 years if you go for msc you will have to spend 5 years so all these things will depend upon salary time and experience these are the three important factors here so all these things will depend upon salary time and experience you can also go for non scientific careers sales and marketing finance and administration project management planning public relations investment investor relations government relations distribution management accounting and finance legal counsel mechanics glass washer shipping and receiving clerks if you want to make a career, uh, scientific career then you can go ahead for uh, you can start with uh, entry level jobs these are few of the jobs profiles which i would like to share with you animal care technician aseptic field technician documentation assistant lab technician manufacturing associate material handler quality control technician quality assurance auditor document co- documentation coordinator and research assistant now why which people should uh, choose a career choose a career option called biotechnology is if you enjoy science maths technology investigating problem solving abilities and making useful products is your hobby then you sh- a biotechnology can be a career for you how to pursue a, bi- a career in biotechnology step 1 is make the full use of your internet connection uh, internet uh, be efficient in using your computers skills uh, have a good effective verbal and written communication and you should have uh, some basic maths ability step 2 is uh, g- uh, have a counselor and you can also talk to your teachers step 3 is be familiar with the state and national biotechnology organizations professional groups uh, gain experience in the industry through internships workshops and trainings these are three um, uh, very vital steps for each and every biotechnologist is that uh, spend your time in searching for a good internship opportunity or workshop or training that will always benefit you courses after graduation you can go in this is with respect to msc can always try in msc clinical research bioinformatics biomedical engineering animal biotechnology genetics marine biotechnology biochemistry microbiology and nutrition so what are the opportunities for undergraduates and postgraduate students with respect to uh, trainings i would suggest is that go for central or state university departments as well as in iits If you want to do PhD these are some of the entrance exams which you need to get through. Uh, remember this is the just a list of uh, examination CSIR or DBT JRF uh, ICMR JRF something like uh, some of these exams are there. Uh, there are many more exams available these days on every uh, university conducts its own uh, entrance exams most of the universities conducted. So you have uh, you have to select a university and then go for its appear for its entrance exam to the short term courses if you want to do some short term uh, cons- uh, courses almost every national uh, institute provides but just look at their websites uh, and uh, you will find the relevant information regarding the courses look for advertisements in biotech based websites 
always remember training and summer projects adds on to your experience opportunities for post graduates iits you can always do your trainings and project works in all the iits uh, you can try for it i am not saying that they will pro- they will provide you with the opportunity but you can always try in iits csir laboratories icmr laboratories dbs dbt autonomous institutes or institutes of national repute one important thing you should make a note of that make a note that there are some institutions in india which provide specifically to training for msc first year as well as bsc second year students so if you are in msc first year or bsc second year you should always try for it careers in life uh, life sciences you can always get uh, information through websites as well as in newspapers requirements if you want to do phd in american universities there are, these are some of the exams which you have to go there and get through gre tofl tsc agre economic graduate record examination if you are trying for uk or europe universities tofl as well as strong research experience is must and if you are trying for indian institutes a written entrance examination and a dis- interview with faculty members is required of course the uh, requirements of for the phd program will differ from country to country as well as from university to university always i the best option would be before starting a phd program before planning for a phd program just go ahead and look the what are the re- re- eligibility cr- criteria for the phd exams now phd programs skills as every subject uh, must have some basic skills a student of every subject must have some basic skills so these are the some of the skills which you must uh, i think you must develop uh, first is data analysis time management written communication problem solving abilities computer skills idea generation and implementation manual ability research uh, grant writing skills and training and educating skills what is the meaning of scope just before few minutes i was just uh, googling it around and uh, i typed scope and i found this the extent of the area or subject matter that something deals with or to which it is relevant so in case if you see what is the scope of biotechnology you will find what are the subjects matters which are included in the biotechnology so here is some of the scopes in biotechnology you can make a career in gene therapy plant tissue culture stem cell techniques biosensors bioremediation bioinformatics including genomics and proteomics this is the scope in biotechnology continued enzyme engineering and technology photosynthetic efficiency new dna technologies plant based drugs peptide synthesis nanobiotechnology biological warfare again rational drug design nutraceuticals assisted reproductive technologies organ transplantation new drug delivery systems production of useful materials production of new materials using new ideas now what are the steps which a biotechnology student must follow prepare your email ids join some biotechnology based websites make more friends from the same field of interest keep looking for resumes of famous personalities talk with elders and seniors make your stay in laboratory and institute much more meaningful so these are the some of the steps which you can follow always try to connect with people who are having the same interest as that of you that will always help you to gain more knowledge and develop what you are lacking remember always remember that you can make a difference in society and you are something very very important to society well thank you my dear friends for watching this video and i hope that you will find this very helpful for your career and i hope that few of your doubts might have been cleared thank you very much for spending this wonderful time